If you're like me, you've probably asked at least once, how do I get the most detail out of the moon? In my previous video, I shot the moon during its crescent phase. I've shot the moon a lot between my iPhone and my DSLR and my dedicated planetary camera. I have no shortage of moon images. The one thing I do have a shortage of are the highly detailed images of the entire moon, the kind you get with, say, a Celestron 8SE. I mean, sure, you can do a lot with software through stacking and deconvoluting your images, but how do you capture detail at the acquisition level, you know, at the moment the light hits your camera sensor? So really the question is, is there a way to get highly detailed full disk lunar images with my current setup? The answer is yes, by shooting a mosaic. A mosaic entails shooting sections or panels of the moon and then stitching the images together to create one giant image. So a moon mosaic. <laughs> so my first thought was, I don't have time for that. And my second thought was, well, we're in the middle of a pandemic, of course I have time for that. For image acquisition, I'll be using my Celestron 4SE Schmidt Cassegrain with a ZWO ASI 120 MCS planetary camera. Now lucky for me, this camera is perfect for shooting mosaics of the moon since it has a much smaller sensor, which means you can effectively crop into the moon without giving up any sensor pixels. All right, so the moon is up high in the sky tonight, which really helps with seeing. I'll be capturing 30 second videos of each section of the moon. And my planetary camera is connected to my laptop and for image acquisition software, I'm using SharpCap. Tracking is really good tonight. I'm getting some nice steady videos of the lunar surface. Okay, so we've shot everything and now we're going to stack our moon videos to get our final images and then we'll stack them all together. In Auto Stacker, I first set my anchor point on a crater to aid in the alignment process. I'll keep most of the default settings. Now for image stabilization, I make sure that this is set to surface. And then I'll click the analyze button and let it do its thing. And once that's completed, I'll set the AP grid. I usually just leave it on the default of 24 alignment points. I'm just going to stack the best 25% of images and I'll select sharpen as well. And once I'm ready, I'll click stack and let it run. It shouldn't take too long since these are only 30 second videos. All right, so my first panel is done. Let's take a look at the stacked image file. I'll stacker will create two images, one sharpened, uh, which is this one here, and one without sharpening. All right, so here's with sharpening and without. All right, looks good. I will repeat the process for the rest of my 35 files, and then we'll move on to the fun stuff, stitching the mosaic. All right, so all of my files are stacked. I'm just gonna take a quick look at all the images, make sure it all looks good. And it does, great. Okay, so we are ready for stitching. So I'm gonna stitch the images together using a free program called Microsoft Image Composite Editor, which you can download from the Microsoft website. So the cool thing about this program is you don't have to worry about the order of images. Just drop them all in there and the program will figure it out automatically. Okay, so I'm gonna let it run. If everything goes well, the final image should be a huge mosaic of the moon with each image's resolution intact. Wow, look at that, that is amazing. It looks, it looks seamless. I don't see any stitching lines at all. That's, <laughs> that's pretty incredible. And look at the resolution. See, I could have never zoomed in and retained this much detail before. Uh, I am in awe. I am in complete and utter awe. So the last step is to import this into Registax and do some fine-tuned sharpening with its wavelets feature. Uh, once I'm happy with that, I'll save it. So now I'm here playing around with it on my iPad, just zooming in and out, and uh, I'm just in awe of the detail. Wow. It really is like I've shot this with an eight inch uh, Schmidt Cassegrain. So I highly recommend that you watch this video on a large screen monitor or a TV if you have one. If not, well, here's me in front of my 65 inch TV for scale. And there you go. I've just created the most highly detailed image of the moon I've ever shot using my existing equipment and free software, out of Stackert, Registax, and Microsoft Image Composite Editor. They are all free. So I'll put a link in the description to my high-res moon mosaic if you want to view it on your own computer. I mean, you really have to see it for yourself. It's, it's amazing. 
have fun exploring our moon, and thank you for watching this video.